What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Oracle Card Reading for September of 2022. This is for the sign of Pisces. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspect to your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, Jupiter chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, and Jupiter chart signs for additional message or messages. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So, one, may, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug the message or messages in, how they resonate in your own life. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type for Sister Rose 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Sorry, my kitty cat's being a goop. <laughs> Come on, Booger. Come on, fat boy. Okay, so um, this is for the um, Pisces Oracle card reading, but we still have a, let's see. We have a, a week left of August, so for some of you guys, some of the messages could resonate in August if they do, if they do resonate for you. Um, just saying, just saying, okay? Love you guys, and we're going to get started. This is actually take two because I had to take a very important phone call a few minutes ago, so I was in the middle of doing your reading, and I had uh, scratched it, and I'm redoing it. I already have the cards shuffled out, so just saying, but I will deliver the channelings that I got earlier, and then we'll get started, okay? All right, so um, the channel messages I heard was, uh, for Pisces, was someone is about to be exposed. They never thought they would be exposed. I heard a 40 and above feminine energy. Someone is about to be exposed. They never thought they would be exposed. A 40 and above feminine energy. That's the first one. The second one I heard, um, now this could be a Pisces that's about to be exposed or any other sign. It doesn't, I mean... I feel for a lot of you guys, you're about to expose this 40 and above them energy is what I'm feeling, or somebody you're connected to is. Um, I don't feel it's you, but you plug it in how it resonates, but it's a 40 and above fem feminine energy. Um, whatever, I didn't hear a sign on here. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you're about to expose her. I heard she never thought she would be exposed, but she is about to be exposed. Um, so whoever she is, that was message one. Message two, now, if you're the one exposing her, it's whoever you're going to expose her to. I don't know who you're going to expose her to. Social media, the community, police, authorities. Uh, I don't know if it's criminal. I don't know if it's not criminal. I don't know what she's about to be exposed for. She never thought she'd be exposed, exposed for is what I'm trying to say. It's very general, but I'm pulling it in for a reason. So I feel at least one of you guys is about to expose her. Now, whoever you're going to expose her to. I don't know if it's child protective services. Um, if it's a child matter, like a child abuse or neglect or exploitation matter or a police matter or a feds matter or, um, criminal S type matter or, or if it's just drama, like on social media or community or gossip or what have you, what have you. Okay. That was message one. Message two, I heard a cat attack is about to come very significant soon. So that's scary. So, um, and number three was black magic is about to backfire. So, energies can be reversed. So, a cat attack is about to come very significant soon. So, that could be in your life, Pisces, or somebody you're connected to's life. Whoever this is, they're either own a cat, or they're around somebody that owns a cat, or they're about to be around a cat. A feline, a cat. So, however that resonates and applies. Um, whoever this person is that's about to get attacked by a cat. Lord have mercy, I, I don't even know. I have I own two cats. I've owned two cats for many years, and my cats are the most docile cats known to man. So, and they both have claws still intact. So, I don't have aggressive cats, but so I I think for one of these people, it's the black magic about the backfires what to cause this cat to attack. Is my personal take on this with the channel messages. I think somebody, and I think one of you guys is about to see this manifest in three D. Unless you're a black magic wielder. Of course, only you know if you're a black magic wielder or, or did black magic wield or not. Feel for a majority of my collective, it's not you. I think you're about to see this manifest. Somebody that has used black magic in the past and the animal's about to pick up on it and a cat and they're about to attack this person is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's going to be a bad attack. 
it's going to be a bad attack. That's what I just heard. It's going to be a bad attack. So I think a lot of you guys are about to see this cat attack. And I don't think it's going to be you about to be tagged, or at least I hope not. Only you know you know if you've black magic wielded in the past or not. So you have to plug yourself in where you, you resonate, okay? I feel for majority of collective, it's not you, though. And then message three, black magic is backfiring. So I think it's backfiring on somebody, whatever sign and person and whoever the universe to see is. And one of them, I think it's about the backfire in the form of a cat attacking them because they're sensing the bad, black, um, the bad energy sits in the bad vibes and the black magic's about to catch up with them and the cat is about to get triggered and um attack them is what i feel but you plug it in how it resonates pisces that is so strong all right so we have vulture and lamb so for some you could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign if you are they could have an aries leo side your taurus capricorn virgo in their sun moon rising venus or moon hammer jupiter charts if you are dealing with a um fire sign or earth sign knowledge Wishbone, a wish is granted. Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Number one could be a very significant number in one's life. Number one, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number one, vulture. A very selfish person in your workspace is about to betray you in a huge way. A very selfish person in your workspace is about to betray you in a huge way. So you, you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. So if this resonates for you, um, I feel you can be a masculine or feminine, but it's a very selfish person in your workspace. So I feel 3D workspace energy here is what I feel. I don't feel work at home or, you know, sole proprietorship business owner or something like that. Um, if it is a business, I'm feeling LLC, many employees, or a um, 3D workspace energy, but it's somebody you work, you work with, um, either LLC type energy or um, 3D workspace, um, which probably LLC is just saying, or a corporate conglomerate or what have you, what have you. But how that resonates, um, um, they're, about, they're very selfish and they're about to betray you. So they're taking on the vulture energy, which is vultures take, 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 take. They're not copacetic givers. Um, they basically feed off dead, well, they feed off dead carcasses is what they do. Um, vultures feed off dead carcasses. That's their meal. Um, so, I, well, they're not really not copacetic. They feed, they get their meals off dead carcasses. So I, I feel they are threatened by you is what I feel, Pisces. I feel they're threatened by you. They're very selfish, I heard, and they're about to betray you in a workspace. So I think they're trying to take you down, possibly, um, with the vulture energy. Vultures feed off dead carcasses, um, possibly. They're about to betray you for a reason, and they're very selfish. For some, I feel they could be trying to energy suck off you in your workspace. This is like my dark arts card here in the animal spirit card. It's like my dark arts card. Sucking, energy sucking, time, energy, or money here. Um, for some, they I didn't hear they did steal from you. Maybe for some they have. Um, but I feel take, take, take energy here. And they're selfish and um, probably narcissistic and they're about to betray you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Lamb. An earth sign child is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. And you work in a workspace energy. You're about to fight for this earth sign child. And and their mother. For some, it's an earth sign child and a fire sign child and their mother. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, heavy workspace energy. So if this work, uh, resonates for you, Pisces, you work in a 3D workspace energy. Um, it's something to do with children. Um, so 
that could resonate a million different ways. That could be police. That could be child protective services. That could be um, um, medical. Um, that could be legal. Um, that could be social work, uh, child protective services. It could be your light side if this resonates with you. You're not a CPS worker trying to convince a child to do prostitution. I'll tell you that, um, which that video I posted, which was horrific. But um, I heard you're about to fight for an earth sign child for some, for some earth sign child and a fire sign child and their mother. So you work in some kind of important situation where you're going to fight for this mother and this earth sign child or this mother and this earth sign child and fire sign child. And I feel this is the fire sign child, earth sign child and the animal spirit. Um, because fire sign energy, earth sign energy, but children energy. Um, you're going to fight for them. So I think you believe in the mother or you believe in the, uh, the mother and the earth sign child or the mother and the earth sign child and fire sign child. It can be a masculine or feminine earth sign child, masculine or feminine fire sign child. You have to plug these people in your life, how they resonate. But you're fighting for the mother and the earth sign child in one situation. One is a mother and an earth sign child and a fire sign child in another situation. Um, the child could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, North Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. And I think for whoever this is, your light side, and I think you're going to get your wish, is what I feel for some. And I think you have some kind of knowledge on this situation, and you're about to display it, is what I feel. One has groundbreaking information. One is about to share it very publicly. One has groundbreaking information and you're about to share it very publicly. So one of you guys has very groundbreaking information. I think that's going to help the mother and the earth sign child or the mother and the earth sign child and fire sign child. Um, I feel single mother energy here is uh, whoever you're about to fight for, uh, Pisces. I feel single mother energy. Definite single mother energy. Definite single mother energy. Yeah, and I think you're going to... Um, I think you're going to fight hard for this person, uh, the mother and the ch child or children, and your wish is going to be granted. This is good energy. Thank God for that. Heard you're going to do it very publicly. And it's something to do with your work. So whatever your work is, and you're going to fight publicly for the either one child or the both children and the single mother. Whatever work you do um, and how that resonates, okay? Knowledge. A Pisces is about to continue her education. One a masculine, one a feminine. One is about to go go to school. <clears throat> a Pisces is about to further her education. One's a fem, one's a masculine, and one you're about to go back to school. So um, knowledge, at, uh, academics, school here. Um, that could be technical college. That could be um, technical college or community college like I did or um, four year or Ivy League or what have you, what have you. Some uh, continuing education for some, I feel it could be through your employment. For some, it could, um, I think it's actually just going back to school. Maybe you're going to get a grant. Maybe you're going to get a scholarship. Maybe, um, or maybe you work and pay for it. Or maybe, I don't know um, how that resonates. I didn't hear how you're going to pay for it, but um, going back to school, that's beautiful. So I feel books and knowledge and research and um, education, education, education here. One is, I feel it's for your employment. One, it is just going back to school. So hitting the books. One, it's research. One, you're a high vibrational reader. One, it's research. And one, you're a high vibrational reader. So one is research. The knowledge is the research. And you're a high vibrational reader. So a high vibrational tarot reader. Um, some kind of research into your work, your reading, readings, or maybe you're going to create a new um, series or something in your readings um, if you do online public platform work or even home readings. And um, you're going to research something for a particular um, topic or what have you, what have you, okay? Wishbone, a wish is granted.
The selling of a grandmother's house is very significant. The selling of a grandmother's house is very significant. That's what I heard. The selling of a grandmother's house is very significant. So, for some, it's your mother's house. For some, it's your grandmother's house. For some, it's your mother's house. Um, it sound, for some, I feel this house might have already sold. For some, I feel it might be pending selling. Um, some kind of selling of a house of your mother or your grandmother. Uh, for some, I feel you could be putting it on the market or fast cash selling it, how that resonates. For some, I feel it already might have sold. For some, it might go on the market soon. How that resonates and applies, but a wish is granted. I feel you're um, involved in this or is about to be involved in the selling of this home, whether it's your mother's or your grandmother's home. I wish is granted. For some, your mother or grandmother could be a um, fire sign or a earth sign, possibly. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? For some, you could be realtors, possibly. I'm feeling realtor energy. I didn't hear that, but I am feeling realtor energy for some of you guys. An Aquarius's affair with a Libra is about to go very, 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 very public. For one, this is about to benefit you in a huge way. For one, you're not going to want this. You're a low vibrational Pisces and you had an affair with this person. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. An Aquarius's affair with a um, low vibrational Libra. 40 and above, Fem Libra. 40 and above Fem Libra. So an Aquarius's affair with a 40 and above Fem Libra is about to go very, very, very public. Very public. Um, for one of you guys, I heard you're going to be happy about this. So it's going to benefit you in a positive way. You're going to be happy about this and what have you, what have you. But for one, I heard you're low vibrational. So you don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, and I heard you had an affair too with this Aquarius. So you, you're not, um, you don't want it to come out. Um, and you're going to be exposed to, and you're going to be exposed to. So you, this Aquarius gets around, um, 40 and above Aquarius masculine, 40 and above Aquarius masculine. So he's a 40 and above Aquarius masculine, very heavy in the public eye, very heavy in the public eye. So he's a 40 and above Aquarius masculine, very heavy in the public eye. And he had an affair with a 40 and above Libra feminine. Um, that's about to get exposed very publicly. We have. Pisces energy that's very happy this is about to come out. So maybe you're going to help expose this Pisces. Um, for the high vibrational ones, I think you're going to help expose it. Um, possibly. But there's a very low vibrational Pisces femme, too, that has had an affair with this 40 and above Aquarius masculine, too. I heard she doesn't want it to get out, but I heard it's about to get out. Um, so he's slept with at least two people he's had affairs with. A 40 and above Libra feminine and a low vibrational Pisces femme. I don't know age on her. And I heard affairs for both of these. So I don't, I think he might be married because uh, I heard affair. I think he might be legally married and he's had affairs with both of these people. But another one of you high vibrational Pisces, I think you're going to help expose this. Now, I don't know if you're going to expose it on social media, community, word of mouth, um, or what have you, what have you. I heard it very publicly. So it's going to be in a public space or social media or both or something. Um, that could be your wishes granted too, high vibrational Pisces. Uh, I think you wanted this information out. You wanted this information out. You wanted it out, but it didn't get, it's not, hadn't got out because these people don't want it out, but it's about to get out. Yikes. But he, he's married. He's definitely married. He's definitely married. That's confirmation. He's definitely married because I heard affairs. So he had to definitely be married. He's had affairs that will live with at least two women, at least two. They're, they, both of these are about to come out, if not more people. I mean, Lord. So knowledge on the affairs. Um, for some of you could be his wife, possibly. For some of you could be his wife or a friend of the wife or a family of the wife, possibly. Um, it's about to get around like wildfire. Wildfire. And it's about to help a family court case go in the mother's favor, single mother's favor. It's about to get around like wildfire, wildfire. And I heard it's about to help a family court situation go in a single mother's favor. 
Um, very, 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 very much in single mother's favor. Very much. Okay, I heard very, very, very much in a single mother's favor. Very much. So, so this affair, this 40 and above, very heavy in the public eye, Aquarius masculine, that he slept with at least two women outside his marriage. A 40 and above Libra feminine and a low vibrational Pisces femme. That's obviously not his wife. Um, it's about to benefit a single mother um, in a family court, family court situation, family law situation. And I heard it's going to go very, very, very much in her favor. So I don't know how this, I don't think the single mother is these people. The single mother is most certainly not the people he slept with. The single mother is most certainly not the people he slept with. So the single mother is a different person. Um, single mother is not these two people. It's a different person. Fire sign, single mother. Fire sign, single mother. So it's a fire sign, single mother. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, you guys. If you're the Pisces, going to expose it. Or it's Aquarius or these two people he slept with outside his marriage. Or the fire sign, single mother. There's a lot going on in here. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But somehow, this very much in the public eye, Aquarius, older Aquarius, sleeping with all these women outside his marriage. It's about to benefit a family court situation, a fire sign single mother's family court situation in a very positive way. Getting all this information aired out, the knowledge in the community or the knowledge on social media or the knowledge somewhere to, um, to get it out. He is going to be mortified, but it is time and it's about to come quickly. He is about to be mortified, but the time is coming. Uh, time has come for him, and it's about to get out and get out quickly. So he was trying very, very, very hard to hide it, Pisces. But it's it's coming out whether he wants it to or not. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer is what I heard. Good God, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Um, this is getting more complicated. He's a lawyer. So, um, but somehow this being exposed very, very publicly is about to help out a single mother's family court situation. Somehow she's connected in this. I heard she's not one of the people he slept with. So however she's connected in, but the knowledge is about to get out. I heard it's it's time for it to get out and it's about to get out quickly and it's about to benefit. So um, I wonder, and I didn't hear this, but I wonder if maybe one of the people he slept with is maybe one of her family members possibly or or something of that nature um i d i don't know i don't know i didn't hear that uh, but some who however these people resonate these all these women he's sleeping with outside his marriage and wadi 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 is about to benefit a single mother family court situation in a positive way so a wish will be granted for the fire sign single mother um in this aspect sounds like it hasn't happened yet it sounds like there are many series of chain events There are many shocking series of shame events. An older fire sign feminine is about to realize she made a huge mistake. And a high vibrational Pisces is about to help this happen. Okay. Um, there are many, many shocking series of shame events. An older, high vibr um, an older fire sign feminine is about to realize she made a huge mistake. And uh, so an older 40, uh, 35, 36 or above. Aries Leo Sag, another person, is about to realize she made a huge mistake and um in something, in something. So what maybe she thought this fire sign single mother was sleeping with him, or I don't know, but and I heard a high vibrational Pisces is gonna make this happen. So I think you have vibrational Pisces, you're gonna communicate this with the older fire sign feminine that is involved in some kind of family court, family law situation single mother um it sounds like she's fighting for custody of her children or she's in an appeal process or she's doing something trying regarding her child or children how that resonates okay but you're about to be a catalyst a positive catalyst to get the information to this older fire sign feminine that made some kind of mistake in the past um i think regarding family court family law or a ruling or something whoever this person is i didn't hear who this person is it's an older fire sign femme she could have aries leo Sag. In her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, and hammer, Jupiter charts, I think you're going to deliver knowledge to her. I heard all this crap is about to go very publicly. So, 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 so public. So, 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 so public. It's about to go so, 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 so public. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it.
how my racial Pisces reader is about to wean off readings a little bit and focus on different business aspects. It's going to benefit you in a positive way. Okay, I'm pulling high vibrational reading, a reader energy in here very strong. You can be a masculine or femme, uh, Pisces, um, and you're high vibrational. So you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. Um, I heard you're going to wean off the readings a little bit. <clears throat> you do an online public platform. You do an online public platform. I heard you're about to wean off the readings a little bit off your public platform. And I heard you're going to focus on other business avenues outside your online public platform readings. I heard it's going to benefit you in a positive way. So a path with money is waiting for you to find it. I think this is the other business avenue or avenues. And a wish is granted. I think with the money flow coming in um, or going to come in from this other business avenue or avenues. And I think you're about to learn knowledge on this um, or gain knowledge to earn new money in this other business avenue or avenues is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces, okay? That's beautiful. Let me see if I hear anything else. Um, this is much better than Aquarius's. Aquarius's was yikes, and I'm serious. Some of it was. Some of it was. A shoe salesman is about to become very significant in a Pisces life and a homeless person. For some, for one, a homeless family. A shoe salesman is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. For one of you guys, a homeless person is about to become significant in your life. So one person, and for one of you guys, a homeless family. So I feel either one parent or two parents or one child or two or two plus children. So for one of you guys, it's a shoe salesman. One of you guys, it's a single homeless person. For one of you guys, it's a homeless family. So you plug it in how it resonates. They're about to become significant in your life. I feel in a positive or negative way, either the shoe salesman, the homeless person, or the homeless family. Pisces. You plug it in how it resonates. A Pisces receptionist is about to find out about their Libra masculine bosses lovers. They're about to come in the office. Many of them. It's about to disgust you. Oh my lord, Pisces. Whoa. Um, okay, so you're a Pisces, um, Pisces feminine receptionist. Um, you have a Libra masculine boss. So I think you work in an office setting, obviously, because you're a receptionist. I think you work in an office setting in some shape or fashion in the universe. However, this resonates if this applies for you, Pisces. You're a Pisces femme receptionist. You have a Libra masculine boss. And I feel in the office setting in some shape or fashion. But I heard you're about to learn about all their lovers. He's married. It's about to blow up on him in a huge way. He's married. It's about to blow up on him in a huge way. So he's married. Your boss is married, ma'am. Um... Your Libra masculine boss is married. You work in an office setting. And all his lovers, and I heard like plural, like two or two plus lovers are about to start strolling in the office. You're about to see these lovers. Um, I don't think you're going to be impressed. And I'm just being serious. I don't think you're going to be impressed. I heard it's going to disgust you. So I don't think you're going to be impressed at all. And uh, basically, um, I heard it's going to blow up on him. So backfire on him. <laughs> um, I think with his wife or the family of his wife or something um i heard it's going to disgust you so i think you're going to be happy that it backfires on him a wish is granted um maybe he doesn't treat you correctly in a workplace situation or he didn't treat you correctly um how that resonates knowledge of all these women about to stroll up in the office good lord could be a, a fire sign or an earth sign um lovers possibly This backfire is about to benefit you in a huge way. This backfire is about to benefit you in a huge way. So his backfire, so your Libra masculine bosses, lover strolling up into his office or y'all's office or what have you, what have you, um, is about to benefit you, Pisces Femme receptionist, in a huge way. I, and I heard it's going to backfire on him. So I don't know if it's going to backfire on him in the form of his wife 
going to file a divorce or or take some other kind of action or backfire on him in other ways. Maybe his business goes down. Um, if he owns a business, maybe something negative happens to him. I mean, somehow it's going to backfire negatively. On, maybe he gets fired um, if he um, doesn't own his own business. But how that resonates is going to benefit you, the backfiring on him, ma'am. <laughs> wow, gal. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Man. A high vibrational Pisces is about to call the authorities regarding a pedophile Gemini masculine. Trafficking children. It's about to benefit a fire sign single mother and you in huge ways. Okay, so a high vibrational Pisces, whoever you are, masculine or femme Pisces, um, you can have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. You mean masculine or femme, you're high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Heard you're about to call the authorities on a, a, a sex trafficker, a um, Gemini masculine sex trafficker, um, pedophile. So he's, in, I think he traffics children or he did traffic children or he attempted to traffic children. Um, however that resonates, you know about this Gemini masculine sex trafficker, a child sex trafficker. You know about him and he's a pedophile. So he oogles kids goodies. Um, and uh, for one, it's his own kids. It disgusts the hell out of you. For one, it's his own kids and it disgusts the hell out of you. So for one, it's his own kids, and it disgusts the hell out of you, and that's why you're about to call the authorities. I heard it's about to help out a fire sign single mother in a huge way, so I think it might be his ex-wife or ex-baby mama or ex-girlfriend or ex-fiance you're about to help out. Somehow it's about to help out a fire sign single mother. Um, you calling and report, I think official reporting energy, on this um, Gemini masculine child sex trafficker and pedophile. You have knowledge on this situation. Or you're about to gain it. For some, you might have evidence. I'm not sure. I didn't hear you did, but you might. Um, but you definitely, you know about him. You know about him. And for one, there's at least two situations of the Gemini masculines. One of them, it's his own kids, for God's sake. So that's so disgusting. Y'all know there's three people, types of people in the world I can't stand. Liars, thieves, and pedophiles. And that's just disgusting. That's disgusting. So one, it's his own kids. For one, it's not his own kids. But you know information and knowledge on this. And you're about to get a wish is granted by reporting this to the authorities, is what I'm feeling. It's about to be very effective. Very effective is what I heard. So I heard the authorities. So whoever you're about to report it to, um, whoever, I'm, think, I'm feeling feds is what I'm feeling. Feds or local police or both. Or child protective services. It could be child protective services. Maybe um, because if he's trying to, uh, if he is sex trafficking his own kids right now, like has them up on the black market, which I didn't hear he does, but if he does, or did, and he has custody of them right now, if you call Child Protective Services and you know the website of the black market, if he has his own kids or other kids up on there, that's like, that's immediate removal right there. And I'm just being for real, or it should be immediate removal, and I'm serious. That's gross. You're about to be very integral in putting this gem one of these Gemini masculines behind bars, and he will not get out. You're about to be very integral in putting one of these Gemini masculines behind bars, and I heard he will not get out, so no bail, no bond. Um, one of them. One, it's his own kids. He either is sex trafficking, or he did sex traffic, or he attempted to sex traffic. One, it is not his own kids. Um, but... Whether it's his own kids or not, you shouldn't be doing that shit. And I do feel black market energy. I didn't hear that, but I do. I mean, how else are they going to do this? I mean, this is sick. This is sick. But kudos to the one about to be very integral in doing this, if that resonates for you. Okay, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.